Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Sermon of the Fast Breaking Feast, Eid al Fitr. All praise is due to Allah. Allah is the greatest. Allah is the greatest. And much praise is due to Allah. Exalted is Allah in the morning and in the evening. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the day of judgment. The feast is a season for rejoicing the blessing of Allah for helping us to complete fasting and enabling us to perform night prayers, paying charity and all other acts of worship. The Almighty Allah says, Say, Prophet, in Allah's grace and mercy, let them rejoice. These are better than all they accumulate. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, The one who fasts experiences two joys, two joys. He feels pleasure when he breaks the fast. He is joyful by virtue of his fast when he meets his Lord. It is the day of sooner reward. And we all hope that Allah grants us the, the, the later reward on the Day of Judgment. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Fasting and the Quran intercede for a man. Fasting says, O oh my Lord, I have kept him away from his food and his passions by day, so accept my intercession for him. The Quran says, I have kept him away from sleep by night, so accept my intercession for him. Then their intercession is accepted. It goes without saying that the days of the Eid are an opportunity to strengthen social bonds and kinship ties and to strengthen social relations. The Almighty Allah said, People, be mindful of your Lord who created you from a single soul and from it created its mate and from the pair of them spread countless men and women far and wide. Be mindful of Allah in whose name you make requests of one another. Beware of severing the ties of kinship. God is always watching over you. The Prophet peace be upon him said, he who believes in Allah and the last day, let him show hospitality to his guest. And he who believes in Allah and the last day, let him maintain good relation with kings. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, A man set out to visit a brother in faith in another town, and Allah sent an angel on his way. When the man met the angel, the latter asked him, where do you intend to go? He said, I intend to visit my brother in this town. The angel said, Have you done any favor to him? He said, No, I have no desire except to visit him because I love him for the sake of Allah, the exalted and glorious. Thereupon the angel said, I am a messenger to you from Allah to inform you that Allah loves you as you love him for his sake. Likewise, the genuine feast is to have a feeling of the weak and needy. This feeling is embodied in providing them with sustenance and making them needless of begging on this day, so that happiness enters every home and joy pervades every family. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Save them, the poor, wandering around asking for food. On that day, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Good works protect from evil fates. The people of good in, in the world are the people of good in the hereafter. All praise is due to Allah, Lord of the worlds. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his companions and followers. Although the feast is an opportunity to spend on one's family for pleasure, this should be void of squandering or stinginess. Allah said in the Quran, Do not be tight-fisted, nor so open-handed, so 
that you end up blamed and overwhelmed with regret. Allah, glory be to him, also said, they are those who are neither wasteful nor niggardly when they spend but keep to a just balance. One of the ways to thank Allah for his graces and bounties is to keep on performing acts of worship after Ramadan. The Almighty Allah said, Say, my prayers and sacrifice, my life and death, are all for Allah, Lord of all the worlds. He has no partner. This is what I am commanded, and I am the first to devote myself to him. Allah, glory be to him, also said, Worship your Lord until what is certain death comes to you. Therefore, how it is rewardable to fast six days in the month of Shawwal, as the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Whoever fasts Ramadan, then follows it with fasting six days from Shawwal, then that is equal and reward to fasting the entire year. We ask Allah to complete his grace is upon us and to save our country Egypt and all other countries of the world.